Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh. If you don't know me, my name is Kimberly and I'm currently 31 weeks pregnant. <laughs> 31 weeks <almost. laughs> Today's video, I will, I will be just talking about like, obviously from the looks of the title, what you saw read, um, just like a pregnancy update, pretty much like how my whole pregnancy has gone from the, has gone since from the start. Nine more weeks and I will have Elijah in my arms. So I just want to give you guys give like an update and pretty much explain how my whole pregnancy went. And obviously all everyone's pregnancy is different. So I will start from the beginning. If you guys can see me, if you guys see that I'm looking down, it's because I have like kind of like a notebook that kind of tells me like um the whole like my pregnancy thing from the first month through like the seven months. Oh, and I have this here because I'm the one to like jump back and forth and I don't want to do that I just want to go like from the first month and go all the way down or go, go all the way up instead of just jumping back and forth but jumping back and forth so that being said let's get this video started so um the first month December 1st um before I found out I was pregnant um I was having a lot of um pelvic pain not, not pelvic pain but it was like pain in my hips and it was just like mostly on my left side and sometimes on my right side but mostly on my left side and it you only happened like during like um after I got off work so it was like around like seven o'clock or six when it, like the pain started hurting and it would only last for like 30 minutes to an hour and it would just like be gone by then until the next day and that was going on for like a good month honestly yeah pretty much so yeah so i had hip pain um lasted for 30 minutes or an hour and literally couldn't walk like i was forcing myself to walk just to like get that pain away and um after finally getting checked up after a month of finally getting checked up um found out i was pregnant and i told her how i was having some hip pain and she just had told me that maybe it's just something from work that it was just maybe something I lifted or something like that and I told her and I explained to her like no like I've been working at this job for literally four years and how come just now I finally got this pain and so she was just like okay and this was before she told me I was pregnant like we were I had just taken the pee like pee, pee in a cup whatever so she was like you know what and then after she got the results um like yeah you're pregnant and the reason why it's hurting is because your pelvic is ex um, opening up and it's just like getting ready like ex yeah my pelvic was just expanding itself and that's why it was hurting my hips so that was like okay and after she told me that literally the pain went away literally the pain went away I haven't had the pain in a while but yeah um the next thing um let's see I just want to make sure I get through all of this you guys um, the second month, so this was the second month and the third month. So, um, through February and March, like the whole February and whole March, I was throwing up a lot. Not because of, um, and it was not because of morning sickness. Um, it was literally not because of that. It was literally because every time I ate dairy, I would puke. And I, re I thought it was morning sickness, but I realized, like, as soon as I ate, like, a cheese, milk, eggs, anything dairy, you got wet any any dairy products i immediately like literally 10 minutes later i was puking you guys i was puking it out um yeah my body just didn't like it so yes there was times where i knew that i i shouldn't have ate like the eggs but i was really wanting some eggs in the morning and i would just eat it 10 minutes later i would puke it but i'm like you know what i really wanted eggs that morning so it was good while it lasted you guys but um but either way just to take precautions i was always taking like a toothbrush it's, a toothbrush toothpaste floss to like work just in case I was puking at work for no reason but no that never happened I mean I always took it to work but never had never had to use it so that was really good never had morning sex I just eating those products gave me this morning sick or made me puke so that was really good and not bad and like I said sometimes I put it on to myself because I really wanted to drink milk or I really wanted to make so that was on me the only thing that maybe the third, second and third month was also was um I was I was getting nauseous a, not a lot but just like once in a while I was getting nauseous and only because like sometimes I would bring food to lunch or food to work sometimes I would forget and like just go like a few hours like like pretty much the whole day without eating until I like, get home until I got home so pretty much that was obviously that's obviously bad um so I told my doctor about that like she's like are you eating well are you taking snacks and I straight up told her like no I'm not and she's like well you need to that's what the reason you're getting nauseous so I was like I backed it up and I was like, okay, you're right. So yeah, I started packing my, started packing more snacks and 
yeah, my nauseous went away, so it's nothing bad where it's like I felt like fainting or no, it's honestly like I said, it's been good. But yeah, so I don't think it was anything bad. Like um, I've seen, I've heard, or I've seen videos where girls like, oh yeah, morning sickness so bad and all this, and I'm literally like, no, like like I said, you guys, everyone's pregnancy is different. Mine's just right now. I feel like it's really calm, like thankfully. The fourth, the fifth, and the sixth month. Um, Everything's good. I haven't had any nauseous. I haven't had any like wanting to puke. I haven't had any pain Like maybe I had like some back pain, but like I said, I feel like it's normal um, It only lasts for a few minutes, but other than that, it's pretty normal for me um, Elijah started kicking and oh my god just when he starts kicking it's like such a like it's crazy to think that there's like a baby at first I thought it was like it's crazy to think that's like a human inside of me but like honestly like now it's just like it's like awesome like I don't know, like, I told my sister, like, I'm excited to, like, give labor and everything, but, yeah, you guys, he started, Elijah started kicking, um, he started having hiccups, which is, like, such a, it's, like, it tickles me when he has hiccups, I don't know, it's not, I mean, like, I'm just, like, oh, my God, like, it gives me a little weird vibe, but, yeah, he started kicking, um, he always, always kicks the most when I'm sleeping, which is nothing new, literally, my doctor says nothing new, babies always kick at nighttime, and, at, at six months he started moving a lot so this time, i mean like i felt his kicks but this time and i'll show you guys a clip right now actually of him kicking and i think this was the fourth month or the fifth month or sixth one of those months i have to look up the date but that i took this video so yeah let me put that clip right now oh you see that So yeah, you guys, that was Elijah kicking. I can be up till 12 o'clock. I can be up from till 10, 11, 12, 1. He, he won't move. As soon as like I tell him good night, Elijah, I'm going to sleep and like tell him all these things. Literally lay my head on my, my my bed and or my pillow. And like I do like a last yawn. I don't know why I always yawn before I go to sleep. And boom, that's when he starts kicking and moving. Like actual moving and kicking. And I'm just like... Awesome. So yeah, that lasts for like a good five ten minutes. Not like frequently, like not frequently, not like like for ten minutes straight, but just like constantly move stops, move stops. So yeah, he does that, and I'm just like, okay, sounds good. And yeah, after ten minutes, like he's done moving until sunlight comes. You guys, he knows. Like they say that the baby can see sunlight now. He knows when it's, it's morning. He knows. Like literally, as soon as. There's some in my room, he starts kicking me and I'm like, okay, he's literally my alarm clock. I haven't had an alarm clock ever since Elijah started moving because he's literally wakes me up. But he doesn't wake me on the time that I want to be waking up. He wants he wakes me up on the time two hours before anyone should be up. Like, okay, people would go to work early in the mornings, of course, like my boyfriend and my sister. But like it'll be like 5 30 and I'm thinking because it's summer already. Um I'm thinking like as soon as he starts moving, I'm just like, oh, it's like, it's time to wake up. I look at the time, 5.30, and I'm like, oh, the sunlight. So, like, there is some times where I do put, like, a blanket over my my window because um, it gets darker, obviously. And so when that happens, he doesn't move a lot until I take it down, and that's when he starts moving. So I'm just like... I'm not trying to be an asshole or anything, but mommy needs to sleep. So, yeah, you guys. So he started moving a lot then. The seven months, which is today, you guys, um, he, the only thing that's I've only had problems with, it's it's been hard to get up from bed. Like, I literally have to, like, oh, give it all my push to get up from bed. I have to go bathroom a lot. I go to bathroom every two hours. Literally, not kidding. I wish I was lying. I go bathroom every two hours. 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock, every two hours, you guys. Um, I have to cross my legs when I sneeze because I will pee. That's true. Um, my back starts turning in the morning, like I said, nothing new. And he's moving more frequently, of course. He starts moving more in the after he's moving a lot in the afternoons, but they only last for a few minutes. But like he's like I said, he's doing more in the nighttime when I'm trying to sleep. So yeah. I um let's see. Today I actually puked. I was eating um what's this? I ate Subway and Lorna was doing my makeup and my whole thing for my maternity shoot which didn't go exactly as well as i planned but it's all gay and i just 
didn't feel good like i just felt like i was like this like the whole time like i don't know if you guys could see in like my vlog but i was just like this like annoyed and i just turned off the camera and i'm like i feel like puking and i went to the bathroom and i started puking so i was just like which is really weird because like i said i haven't puked since like february and march and that was for eating dairy products but i don't know because after february and march after the second third month the fourth month I was able to eat pro dairy products like nothing happened like it won't make me sick or anything so I don't know why I started puking out of nowhere so I don't know you guys but anyways that's pretty much it in my whole pregnancy like I said I am 31 weeks pregnant I have nine more weeks left and honestly you guys I like to say that this pregnancy like like honestly I don't think it was bad like yes yeah, some things were like the nauseous like the puking I don't think it was bad like I feel like my pregnancy has been like smooth and I've enjoyed it and I'm gonna miss being pregnant but also I'd rather have him hold I'd rather hold him in my arms like it's crazy to know like how much my body can actually ex like I don't give I don't know it's so weird to talk about it not weird to talk about just like explaining how like my body has transformed like I wish I had taken pictures like throughout my first and like seven months pregnancy like throughout but I've only taken them from like 21 25 30 you know so i haven't been like frequent about them but anyways but overall you guys my pregnancy has been good um and i'm just happy that and i'm hoping that i'm able to give natural birth no c-section like i don't want to but if it's necessary i will do it of course obviously but yeah i just can't wait for elijah to come you guys honestly like i already have so many clothes we bought the car seat we bought his crib we just had to buy a few more things which will be in another vlog but you guys i'm so excited for elijah to come baby shower is coming in a month so that's what's going on you guys but like i said um my experience might be different from other people from other people and but like that's pretty much how it is it's always going to be different for everyone else but yeah you guys so like i said don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe down below and I will see you guys on my next video. So, bye guys.